I'm Lisa Thompson and I have a cat and seven ferrets. My dad had ferrets when I was younger, he had two, and Scott has always wanted ferrets and so nearly five years ago he was doing some joinery work at the RSPCA in Blackpool where we're from and there were two ferrets there looking for a home so we rehomed them and then um, we just loved them and we just ended up getting more and more. The most we've had um, at one time is eight. That's probably, well we say, we say that's probably the maximum. It may end up being that, you know, if, if one turned up that needed a home, we wouldn't say no. And they're just proper little personalities. They're very cute, they're very silly, they're funny, uh, they can be very affectionate. Um, they take a lot of time up, they're not just something you can just leave in a cage and not bother with. Um, but yeah, they're just, they're just they're quite addictive actually. And a lot of other people, a lot of other ferret owners say the same, they're, they're addictive. Um, as they get older, they can have a lot of problems. Um, we've had four ferrets that we've lost in the last 18 months who all had insulinoma, which is a cancer of the pancreas that it lowers the blood sugar have to go on steroids for it so we were backwards and forwards with them then having blood sugar checks done and various things um, and then of course we've got Rocket he has liver cancer he's been backwards and forwards having operations and checks so yeah it, there was there was a, a time in the last sort of 12 months where we've been at the vets sometimes nearly every week when we moved here um, we previously We've been with two other vets who were very ferret knowledgeable and I just did a bit of research and there were two vets that mentioned ferrets on their websites um, and one of the nurses at Lancaster Vets had ferrets so I thought well if she's got ferrets she'll know firsthand what they're like um, and plus we spoke to our other vets and told them where we were going and they said yeah James is a good vet so we went there and it have been great. Yeah I would definitely recommend um, Lancaster Vets, everybody there is really friendly, all the vets, all the nurses, receptionists, um, they're always always there to help um, and I trust their advice, um, you know, I mean, it, as much as I could, you know, I'll, I'm a bit of one for Google, I'll Google things, Google stuff to do with the ferrets and they're very patient if I go into them and say, I've seen this on Google, um, but yeah, no, I, I trust them and they're, they're nice people. Um, and as long as we're living here, I don't think we'll go anywhere else. I think people know ferrets mainly as being working ferrets um, that go rabbiting. And a lot of the time, they're not really handled, they're just used for working. So they can be quite nippy and they're not particularly friendly. Um, similarly, if a ferret's been ill-treated, it's like any animal. Um, our ferrets um, have all come from rescue situations one way or another, apart from a couple of them and we don't know what's happened to them in the past. So we might get them and they might be quite nippy, but the amount that you handle them, the amount that you love them, it's like any animal. If you give them love, they'll give it back. Um, and as far as practicalities go, yes, they take up quite a lot of time, but they also, they sleep for about 20 hours a day. So as long as you give them exercise for the other four, um, then they're happy. <laughs>